live. Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Talk Now Live with Max and Larry. So grateful that you are here tonight to join us on this beautiful uh, Tuesday evening. We have so much to talk about. If you don't believe us, uh, we can show you this. There's a bunch of tabs here. Uh, Max has some news to share. I have some news to share, but we want to talk about you first. And when there gets to be a few more people in here, we're going to first recognize a few people, but there's not enough people quite yet. Let's say hello to everyone that has filed in, though. Please, if you would, on the way in, just hit the like button. We'll keep reminding you of that because we would like to at least get 100 likes on this show. All right, so who will be first? Uh, Tim Shea. Tim Shea says, hey. Hey, Tim Shea, how are you? Uh, Clown Coin loves Crypto Talk Now Network. Thank you for your support, uh, the folks from Clown Coin. The Gin. What's cooking everyone tonight? Or tonight, everyone. Tim Larry, Max, and Patches. How are you guys doing tonight? How are you doing, Max? Doing well, thank you. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing good today, Jen. I think I know you are because you always mentioned the whole thing about meditating. So I'm sure you're relaxed. And I have a full stomach. I just ate, so I'm doing well. Uh, Blue Whale Ricky, I was thinking if you want to get to know who we are as people, you should go on our Facebook and look at our profiles and learn. Yes, that'd be great. And there's going to be some other ways we're going to get to know you really soon. We're working on some things behind the scenes to make our uh, network and our family a little bit closer together. Uh, the Jin, Tim, you change your avatar. Cool. Yep, oh, he's got another NFT. Blue Whale Ricky, I do with each and every person. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed this. I I'm really apologize. I uh, should have read this comment first. I apologize to you. Edward Vincent. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for the $2 donation and the uh, more importantly, uh, the the thought that counts. Attention, Crypto Talk Now. We are amazing. Thank you. Thanks, Edward. Appreciate you. And guess what? Here's some extra special people. And Edward happens to be at the top of the list right here. Uh, thank you so much, Edward Vincent. These are the most recent members. There's been a few members in the last few days. You can see right here, total time at this level. Seven, six, six, five, and three. These are all the newest. We'll start from the newest to the uh, first members. These are the charter members, if you will. The first members of Crypto Talk Now Network. How do you do that? By clicking on the join button on the YouTube channel. Uh, special thank you to the extra special people here. Everyone is special. But Edward Vincent, Samuel, don't call me Captain Hook, Legrand Commission, Kramit, Michael Cornwell, Crypto Lotto Group, Tim Shea, Selma Fudd, and... Of course, common sense. Now, what do you get for this? Well, you're going to give, uh, you're going to be able to first be admitted into our focus group, and you're going to have the ability to shape some of the content that we have here. Uh, we will run some stuff by you as far as what we're going to include in the Patreon group. By the way, that's going to be released on August 1st. We have a Patreon, but it's being revamped. And then also, uh, you're going to have uh, the first dibs at participating on another extra special level uh, with the network. You'll actually get a chance. You'll get the first chance to buy into your own network. All right. So thank you for that. Now, let's say hello to everyone still. Continuing on. Let's see where we left off. Okay. Thank you again, Edward Vincent, for the $2 donation. All right. Selma Fudd, thank you. He's here too. He's saying hello. Simon Ravenscroft, uh, good evening to all. Jason T. McNamara, greetings, everyone. Hump not dump. Guys, I'm going to buy the top and sell the bottom. Okay. It's funny. All right. So, Brian Dowie, sup, guys? Uh, Elaine, uh, this is uh, Max's girlfriend, says, hey. Hey, baby. Glad to see you here. Love Lonnie, you. here's somebody new. Lonnie, thank you so much for being here. I have not seen you here before. We appreciate it. Uh, he says you, he or she says USTC and Luna classic. I believe he's he or she is trying to say pump. We know what we haven't actually looked at, uh, us, uh, let's see UST. We haven't looked at it in a long time. Uh, of course we follow Luna classic relatively closely. Let's look. It's in my favorites here. Uh, Luna classic. In case you're wondering, I'm just trying to find out where it is. All right. So it must be a smaller bubble at the moment. Where is Luna Classic? Is it not in my favorites anymore? It should be. Oh, here it is. It's a big bubble. It's right in front of me. Uh, currently doing well, up 7%. You know, there's been a slight pump in the last few hours here overall. Uh, you can see what's going on in the top 100. UST 
Uh, we'll have to check on later, but uh, maybe he's saying there's a pump. So let's go over to take a look at uh, coin market cap real fast. US uh, T. Paraclassic USD. So currently, yeah, there is a pump going on. It's up 16%. That's very interesting. Almost uh, getting close to four cents. So thank you for that. Um, take a quick look. The market is still, uh, it's it's rebounded a lot in the last few hours. So maybe uh, if this is possibly, Max, do you think this is anticipation that they know they're going to raise it 75 basis points and now we're starting to have the relief rally a little early ahead of tomorrow afternoon's news? Could possibly, you know, but um, a lot of people feel as though that the basis points will go to like one full percent. So um, I don't think we're there yet, but, you know, maybe a little bit of a temp rally and that's about it. All right. So we'll have to just wait and see tomorrow and see what they announce. Too much. Larry, Max and Crypto Talk now. Uh, Kruwe, greetings. Is, he, is that a typo or I'm not sure if it's another language? Uh, he's saying uh, hello. Greetings. Salamander in space. Anything on the Fed Reserve? The last I heard is the Fed Reserve. Well, obviously, they're meeting now. I don't know why they need a two-day meeting, but they do. Tomorrow afternoon is what I hear is when they're going to make the announcement for the interest rates as far as what they're going to raise them by. Um, hub, not dump. Who else had the cojones to short Bitcoin with me at 18K? Nobody. I hope nobody, yeah. I would imagine nobody. Like, literally, maybe like five people in the whole world. No, not really. But people will do it. Iron Lux Trader. Hey, Crypto Talk Now Network family. Hey, how are you, Iron Lux Trader? Uh, LeGron Commission. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, LeGron. Tim Shea. Hey, Jin, too much, and Selmo. All right, so we've got a lot to talk about. I mean, the main topics here, we're talking a little bit about what Michael Cornwell sent us. I think he sent it both to us about what he thinks uh, about the SEC, and we'll talk about Coinbase and all kinds of not-so-great stuff. Um some new, some good stuff too. The gin to all the members in the chat, welcome. And can you show your national flag? Oh, interesting. They, he wants to know what part of the world you guys are all from. Mr. Lambo's crypto talk. Um, if you had to pick between Matic and XRP for a long term investment, which one would you pick? What would you pick, Max? XRP, 100%, without a shadow of doubt, without hesitation. XRP. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of Matic and I hold Matic going to pick up another bag like I mentioned but yeah if you're going to have me pick one it's XRP that is my number one play like monthly just about coming up so that's a tough question for me um, I like them both also um I think the the deal with uh Disney for Matic is is big uh XRP the technology is big uh they're, they're both good it's hard to pick uh kind of divided on that I don't know if I can answer that one Iron Lux Trader uh US he's from the US too much Hey, Tim, Selmo, and Jin, Iron Lux Trader. Smash the like button, please. Thank you. Excuse me. Hump not dumb. Guys, if anyone needs a second thought uh, and not sure if you should jump in or sell, join our Facebook community talk. I'm sorry. Join our Facebook community. Crypto Talk Now and Crypto Talk official page and get informative strategy amongst members. All right, cool. Uh, that's great. There's going to be another group that's going to be a little more private than the Facebook group, but uh, that's a great place to start. And you guys are going to be surprised when you see what we're building behind the scenes. But but thank you for that. Uh, the Gin, Max, explain your background. I love it. It looks unique. Okay, where are you now virtually, Max? So um, let me see here. Uh, well, my head's kind of in the way. Anyway, it's someplace in Michigan. And I thought really? it was kind of, un yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> I don't know exactly where, or what, you know, there's so many lakes in Michigan, right? But yeah. the point is, it just, it stood out because it was like, man, that looks, hold on a second, maybe I could go, oh, I'll go the other way. Ugh. Look at that. It looks I tropical mean, almost. Yeah. Well, kind of, but it's just so unusual to see something like that. Anyway. It doesn't seem like something I would see in Michigan, but I, I'm wrong. That's All what right. the, yeah, that's what the image says. That's what I said too when I saw, I was like, hmm, Michigan, really? Uh, that's funny. Uh, all right, so let's fly through all these comments. There's so many beautiful people here. Uh, all you beautiful people, do us a favor. Hit the like button. We've got 161 people here now with us live. Uh, I'm back. He's back. Thoughts on Judge and Torres denying. No, Judge Torres. I, this, is, this is a trick question. I thought he was talking about Aaron Judge. 
I thought, and he was talking about Torres, Judge and Torres from the Yankees. That's weird. Judge Torres. That's really funny. Denying the SEC's motion to revoke Amasi uh, status and bar John Deaton from proceedings. Sounds like another win for XRP and a loss for the SEC. You know, I actually have that article up right now somewhere. Uh, right here. Yeah, I literally saw that. The um, This says the 27th, but in reality, there was uh, news that broke out about that. I think it was literally yesterday. And what's significant yeah. about it, to say the least, is uh, you could t- totally tell from a legal perspective, like the likes of, you know, judges, they're getting irritated with the whole thing. You know, it's like, um, uh, bring up your arguments. And it's like, well, there's not much of an argument. And you, they're getting... Um, they're getting tired and weary with the case. And that tells me, Max, you better darn well get your bag and you better get it soon because the whole concept of the light switch getting turned on could be sooner than we think. And you want to talk about the fear of missing out. Oh, man. Yeah. So that's why I look at. All right. Thank you for that. Uh, you know, it's just a lot of back and forth. Uh, we've I think Max and I both agree. We've been saying from the beginning that uh, XRP will more than likely win the case, but We'll have to wait and see. It's it's definitely something that the crypto world is watching. And uh, a win for XRP is a win for you and me, all of us in crypto. All right. So uh, trying to find my spot. All right. So that was funny because there's Aaron Judge and Glaber Torres. So I thought it was a Yankee reference. That's kind of really, really funny. All right. Simon Ravenscroft. Does anybody know where I can buy Bitcoin uh, in 2014? That's funny uh the gin too much iron lux trader oh there's the crypto talk now uh facebook official page i believe that's a link for that oh no i'm sorry it's a twitter one crypto talk now 21 yes sorry let's put it up sorry about that i sometimes it cuts off the top of my hat so i reduce it let's get it up there thank you for the friendly reminder um where is it where's the button this one nope this one it's on okay All right, so look, it's back on. I think it was off for a second. Maybe you guys didn't see it. Do go ahead and follow both of us on Twitter. Crypto Talk Now 21, of course, and DPG Maximus. Uh, Also, if you want to get in on the giveaway, simply message uh, myself, Crypto Talk Now 21, and say the word giveaway. You can say the word giveaway uh, once a day, and you are entered to win a WAGME NFT valued at somewhere between 0.7 and 1 ETH. If you give it away on... Uh, today is the what? The 26th of July. It's going to be given away on August 15th. Good luck. There is no purchase to enter. All right. So now no purchase required. Is that what they're supposed to say with the uh, giveaways? All right. Crypto crackhead. Uh, he's addicted to crypto. Good news, everyone. I have spoken with today. People that are way beyond my level, they're saying 7,500, really? $7,500 in Bitcoin for a Bitcoin price is probable. I don't know. That's that seems kind of uh, well, unless really, it's based really on severe. it's based on fear from you know the basis points going up to one full percent, like right at 100, I mean, 100 basis points, right? Possible, yeah. It, it's um, but the, everyone, to crash that hard like in one day, yeah. I, I just I, I think it's gonna take a little bit of time, yeah. I don't you know? know that we would, yeah. I'm like at least sure. a full, like a full week, maybe two weeks, right? Something like that. But not just like you know, Luna Classic, you know, or UST depegging monumental event, like you know, May eighth through twelfth, nothing like that. Yeah, I don't know if it would even go that low before the end of the year. I was saying twelve thousand, but seventy five hundred seems like we're all going to die. Uh, kind of scenario. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. We're Might dying. as well laugh about it, man. I mean, yeah, <laughs> we are all going to die. Yeah, that's true. Every I guess. one of us eventually, right? All right. So YOLO, yeah. you I'm only live your best. life once. I'm gonna make the best of it make until I do. Yeah. Say hello and be loving and kind to all your family and friends. Uh, you never know. All right. So thanks. I'm back. He's back. Uh, at Mr. Lambo's crypto talk. Don't pick one by both. Uh, he's talking about Matic and XRP. All right. So we're losing some people here. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, I do have both, and but I mean, I thought the question originally was if you had to pick one. So. All right, so the old man is coming out of the cave. He's making well, he's already out of the cave, I think. Uh, he's making the announcement tomorrow. Uh, it says right here after the Fed raises interest rates Wednesday, investors to look for clues about what's next. 
Uh, what is coming next? All right, so I don't think we have an idea. Do you think they're going to keep going along with this, uh, Max? Are we going to see – is this going to be the last time they're going to raise rates this drastically, or do you think they're going to do it again in September, or, or you're not sure? From what I've heard, I think they're going to do it one more time, believe it or not. And I know nobody wants to hear that, but that's you know kind of like the saying goes, the word on the streets – um, I think they might do it one more time. I don't think it's going to be as significant as what's going to obviously happen within the next day or so. And then um, when they do the second time around, I don't think it's, I don't know, it's not going to be as dramatic, but I could be wrong. If it is, oh my gosh. Can you imagine that combined with the ultimate doom and gloom with the market, you know, like what's his name, pointing out 7,500. <laughs> Can you imagine all those worst case scenarios? It'd be horrible. Yeah, and I think just throwing it in here, let me tie this in with Mark Cuban a little bit. Uh, this thing right here, the thing with SEC going after Coinbase, although this article doesn't talk about it, but we know that happened. Uh, the SEC's been going after Coinbase for a while behind the scenes. They're announcing it. Uh, they said that, you know, remember we talked about nine securities or nine cryptos are deeming as securities. Right. Uh, they're just, they have a, you know, they're on a war path to uh, take some power uh, they want the SEC wants power. They want power over the crypto exchanges, centralized exchanges here in the U.S. Uh, but look what Mark Cuban's saying. This is uh, thank you so much from Bazinga Crypto, uh, Bazinga.com, uh, written by uh, Samayuka uh, Sarayam. I'm sorry, I'm not saying their name properly, probably. But Mark Cuban warns crypto faces nightmare from SEC's next move. Wait till you see what they come up with. And there's a tweet from. Mark Cuban right here. I'm not sure the, oh, looks like it was around July 23rd. So just three days ago, he says, I uh, think this is bad. Uh, you guys all know who Mark Cuban is. Everyone knows. All right. We don't have to say who he is. Wait till you see what they come up with for registration of tokens. That's kind of scary. Oh, whoops. I guess I just clicked on the link. All right. Sorry. Well, let's keep reading it here. Uh, how, all right. Uh, that's the nightmare that's waiting for the crypto industry. How else do you keep thousands of lawyers employed and create reasons to ask for what? More taxpayer money. All right. So there's a YouTube link here. Uh, I think he was uh, going and responding to Senator Pat Toomey, or this is the story. Uh, so, yeah, Senator Pat Toomey saying that yesterday's enforcement action is the perfect example of the SEC having a clear opinion on how and why certain tokens are classified as securities. That was the one where they talked about AMP. Uh, of the nine, right? The, yet the SEC failed to disclose their view before launching an enforcement action. All right. So now that's the thing. So they they make up the rules as they go along. They they say, you know what? You're in trouble. Uh, Coinbase, we're, we're investigating and, you know, there's no clarity. So once the um, once the clarity happens, Max, uh, let's just say that that is it going to be good or bad? Like if, if the SEC names some of the cryptos uh, securities, is that like a good or bad thing? Or do you think, you know, will that help with mass adoption is where I'm going with it? Or do you think it's just going to really hurt us? I think it's a combination of yes and no. I mean, you know, when I keep seeing more and more regulation, you know, I'm thinking to myself, well, what's the particular ones? I mean, usually the general consensus is, you know, we need more regulation, especially when it comes to, uh, the likes of stable coins. Some people, of course, will agree with that. Some people don't. Um, the days of the Wild West when it comes to crypto it is coming to a close as time goes by, as we know. But my thing is this, you know, more and more regulation um, outside of the likes of stable coins, I don't think is necessarily a great thing. And it makes me wonder if they do have that kind of power, where does it end? All right. of a sudden, I'm going to have to register my... Um, you know, my, my hard wallet, <laughs> is that what's yeah. going to come to? Is, is, I know it's, that's supposed to be a joke, guys. Don't take it. Yeah, it's going to go but, on and on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, where does it end? You know, it's supposed to be like, you know, the uh, the land of the free and so on. But I mean, you know, it's kind of like in, in banking. It's like uh, people have, you know, their money in offshore accounts. What's, what's next? Like, we, we're all, we're all going to have to have our, if our crypto on exchanges are literally just that. Well, technically speaking, we're kind of doing that right now, right? Likes a KuCoin yeah. with the you know, uh, lenient KYC and so on. But um, yeah, that's just where it's at. I mean, where does it basically end? Yeah, I think it's just a power grab by the SEC. They just want to control centralized exchanges. It's a power thing and nothing else. All right. I don't think that they're going to win, but I think it's going to create a lot of fear and uncertainty. 
Uh, and so we'll we'll see what happens. It's going to be, you know, we're st I'm still banking on this. I'm still, so to speak, no pun intended, banking on this stuff here, falling and just burning and crashing so that we can accumulate more. This is an opportunity of a crypto lifetime, at least for me, hopefully. But we'll see. All right. So yeah, pump, absolutely. Pump not dump. Does anyone feel the Mandela effect? Uh, like Bitcoin did this before. It has, uh, but we've never seen this before. So your inner voice is a little bit off because. I don't think you've seen this type of what's coming, this type of recession. Now they're saying it's a shallow recession. I, I don't agree. Um, you, I don't think, I think there's just a perfect um, cocktail, a mixture, a, uh, you know, you're making the perfect smoothie of bad economic news. And I don't think you've seen this before. My inner voice tells me, uh, yes, idiot, last month, nice pump before the dump. All right. Clown coin, the Federal Reserve is a bunch of clowns. <laughs> the clown shoes. All right. Well, that's funny coming from Clown Coin. Uh, Iron Lux Trader, make sure you follow Crypto Talk now on Twitter. Uh, he's washing his hands. Uh, well, there must be an emoji. It's not showing up. All right. Crypto Crackhead, I will be shorting Bitcoin down to 18. And then, are you serious? Are you really saying that it's who? Who is saying that's going to that low? I said 12,000. Richard Hart said 11,000. Someone said the other day 10,000. I can't remember who it was. And now you're saying seven and a half. You're talking about 7,500 bucks. Are we serious? No, I'm, I'm not trying to be uh, facetious. I really want to know where you heard this from or where you're, what chart is showing you that? I, you haven't heard it being that low before, Max. You think, have you heard anyone say it's going to crash down to 7,500? I haven't heard anything about that, you know, about it going <sighs> that low. I mean, it doesn't mean it, it won't, you know, we're not saying yeah. that we're right and you're wrong. Just I, just, I, I haven't seen it that low. Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, I just, it's like it's a uh, it's a shock to me. It's like, wow, what an opportunity if that happens. You know what's also a shock? What's that? When you see people on the screen like, boomer effing sooner. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Boomer effing sooner. He's a sooner fan, of course. What's happening? Uh, crypto crack head. Mr. Lambo's crypto talk XRP uh, a million percent. Tim Shea. Boomer effing Brian Dowie XRP for sure. Uh, okay, they these are XRP fans. Hump not dump, guys. Hit the like uh, to 100. I'll give it a shot. Any coin you guys need some technical analysis on. All right, cool. He's going to do some uh, technical analysis. Patches has the night off because he's been studying a little bit too much research. Uh, we need to give him a breather and he's relaxing right now. Uh, Tim Shea, hi again, Iron. Um, you know, the reason I don't know if you guys don't know, but the reason why we have patches doing technical analysis is because he's a dog, because this show is so great. Max and Larry's show is so fun. Uh, we have to balance it out and make it fair to other people by allowing our dog to do technical analysis just to keep things fair. All right. To make it fair for others. All right. So, uh, let's see. Selmo five. Uh, metaphysically speaking, this network will set you up with your own satellite site. Wherever you are in the world, I will be island hopping for sure. Okay. Iron Lux Trader, please subscribe to the channel with uh hit it. That's one thing. You know, Max, we always forget to say that. Hit the notification bells or bell. Hump not dump. Crypto crackhead, my brother. Reach down their proud. What? Reach down their proud. Uh brother, we are rear. I'm not sure. All right. Uh, Boomer F and Sooner. Hey, Tim. Uh, hump not dump. Crypto crackhead. Glad you shorted Bitcoin 18K. Wow. You guys like to live dangerously. You're going to short Bitcoin. I, I don't do any shorting, so I don't really. Um, I mean, if you guys know what you're doing, that's great. I mean, I'm not saying you're doing anything bad. I just I'm not, I don't play that game. All right. Samuel Captain. Don't call me Captain Hook. How is everyone doing? I hope all is well. Oh, wait a minute. We missed somebody here. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. We do have a super chat came in. Keith from CBC. Yeah. Coinview Cap. We will go live with you guys soon to go over the news. Great to see everyone. Tons of stuff to go over. Okay. Uh, thank you. This is Keith. Yeah. From Coinview Cap. He wants to uh, eventually figure out a way to come on here live and disclose some... Uh, uh, news. I'm, I'm guessing it's related to the uh, Shibnobi and uh, CBC merger. You want to just talk about that real fast, Max? And give us an insight. Well, if you guys haven't seen the recorded video, we just kind of give you a quick uh, snippet of you know 
that there was news that broke out last night. Um, I'm glad that uh, Keith was here to drop a super chat. We appreciate that, Keith. Thank you. Uh, in regards to the whole thing with this merger with um, Shinobi and so on, uh, I saw the announcement about it late last night. Um, it was like roughly like 20 minutes, I guess, after you guys announced it. And then on top of that, uh, the latest, of course, I heard was, in, you know, I'm not speaking on behalf of Keith by any means, but the latest I heard was it was going to take um, a little bit longer than 30 days. I think I, I saw something about 80 days total before it's like really official. So don't quote me on that because I'm just the messenger. But um, yeah, it's I think it's going to be great for obviously both projects moving forward. Um, because if anything, um, let's face it, I mean, they are two good projects. And uh, I think both will definitely, you know, have a lot of positive things going on in the future, uh, to say the least. Uh, as the saying goes, positive catalyst, and that's putting it lightly. So there you go. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, great. It's uh, interesting news. Thank you for the update, Max. Uh, I do like the new Shibnobi logo, by the way, uh, the lime green. Uh, I like it. I like the new feel. It gives me a high-tech, modern type of feel. All right. Yeah, so absolutely. And even in the thumbnail I made, I try to make it look like, you know, it's a business deal. So it's like, I guess you could say it's Keith or whatever. He's wearing a suit and he's got a CVC cuffling. And then it's supposed to be like Cliff. I don't know if anybody caught that. He's got a little sh new Shibnobi logo cuffling. Anyway. Oh, does he? Okay. okay. Oh, in the thumbnail you're saying. Okay. Right. All right. Cool. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see where we left off. Uh, oh, uh, blue whale Ricky. He's a whale. We have much bigger problems than crypto. Yes, we do. China. Wait a minute. I know there's a bank, there's bank problems in China, but he's saying something else. China tapping into our internet and what they have the capability of doing, including turning off a pacemaker from China. You know, that that's, you know, one of the things that always bugs me in the back of my mind, I don't hear enough people talking about. Uh, sometimes I think about it. I'm like, you know, this crypto is great and everything. I mean, it really is. But what happens if the power goes out? What happens if there's a massive somehow grid failure or some malicious actor from a, this country or another country? This, this, this. And the grid goes down for six months. And now how are we going to be able to um, operate in the crypto world? Have you ever thought of that before, Max? Oh, they've been talking about this for years. They've been talking about this, the whole thing of, you know, uh, country like Russia or something like that coming in with um, some kind of a you know stealth fifth generation stealth bomber or something like that instead of nuking us all dropping a an EMP over mass yeah. cities and all sorts of doom and gloom and, and whatnot. Um, not to say it won't happen. There's a lot of things could happen. Um, but well, let's say it's a minor thing that happens. Let's say that the uh, isn't the isn't the grid overloaded in Texas. So let's say there's a big heat wave. And the grid can't keep up. Let's say it's a natural, almost more of a natural type of scenario where it's nothing malicious, just that it's the grid's overloaded, it goes down, and just say a portion of the country is out in this country. I mean, it would be, you know, like we we are very dependent on electricity, I guess is my point. Uh, I don't see a way around that. I don't know if crypto can survive without electricity for a sustained period of time. I mean, your thoughts yeah, on the, that? Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know. At the end of the day, everybody wants their cake and eat it too. You know, let's face it. And uh, like for this is here, I mean, I live down the street pretty much from um, one of the Arizona State University campuses. And if you've ever been into this area, it's like, man, I mean, they have just massive amounts of acres just late, you know, just absolutely covered with solar panels. And those type of things obviously make sense, especially here. In Phoenix, right? I mean, you know, it's sunshine pretty much like, you know, 95% of the time. My point is this. I don't have all the answers. I'm not going to even act like I do. But my hope, and it's just that hope, that there's actually smarter people out there that will recognize and prepare for these worst case scenario, doom and gloom type of things that could be going on. What you point out with Texas and so on. I mean, yeah, it would, it would be monumentally like devastating to say the very least. And, um, but you also hear the likes, for instance, of certain companies in which they're trying to get away from uh, everything focused on, um, you know, I guess you could say from a carbon point of view, right? C consistently burning these type of things, which is bad for the environment and so on. But at the same time, bad for what? The cost. <laughs> That's the whole thing. 
right? Yeah. So them coming up with different plans to make alternate methods is one thing, but I don't know. I think there's just a lot of bad timing because of like just the economy in general. I mean, it's just, you know, it's like everybody's talking about, oh, let's go green. Well, God, can you imagine like after FDR defeated Hoover, right? If uh, FDR made the announcement, well, bad news, guys. I mean, I know I just got elected, but let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, let, let's halt, uh, you know, the drilling or let, let's halt coal, you know? They'd be like, you got to be out of your freaking mind, man. This is not the right time to do that. So, I mean, again, you can't have your cake and eat it too, is all I'm saying. All right. So we're coming up. We're at 30 minutes in. Uh, Max, could you check the likes for us, please? Please, guys, if you have not hit the like button, we appreciate if you would do so. We have much gratitude for everyone that's here. We only ask that you hit the like button, please. Yeah, the likes are currently at uh, 34. Should be a lot higher okay. than that. We have well over... 120 people watching. Yeah, we got 122 people watching at the moment. If you would just help us out, get this out to the algorithm, uh, please. Uh, Edward Vincent says giveaway. Yes, uh, enter to win that uh, NFT. Uh, hump, not dump. I got 18.5 and 18,000. And for now, I shorted Matic, really, at 72 cents. Uh, he shorted Matic, of all things. That's, well, I mean, you know, if you guys know what you're doing, I'm not saying you don't. It's just something that I'm not into shorting things but um let's see well matic let's where's matic all right here it is well matic he said he shorted at 72 it's currently at 77 cents uh, i'm not sure when you did that short maybe it was another time all right so that's where it's at now all right um okay lagron commission not financial advice but ethereum classic uh has been good for trading daily and weekly it's not moving like the rest of the coins really it's not moving the same way Let's see. Yeah, I pointed that out in a recent video. Um, well, not too recent, maybe within the last couple of weeks. But yeah, it's uh, you know, especially over the month. I mean, look at it. I mean, fit, about fifty-five percent. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's had a good month. It definitely has a has had a good run. Uh, let's compare it to Ethereum. I uh, just out of curiosity. So uh, for the month, it's up fifty-four point seven percent. Of course, day it's up eight point four percent. Now let's see what's going on with Ethereum at the moment. Let's just wait and see. All right. So Ethereum, H, Ethereum in comparison uh, has also had a decent month. It's up 17. I mean, relatively speaking to the bear market that we're in, 17.3%. And on a day, it's, it's you know, it's up 1.1%. All right. So Ethereum Classic has definitely way outpaced. Now it's separated itself from uh, Ethereum itself. All right. So cool. Thank you for that nugget of uh, info. Iron Lux Trader, follow Max at DPG Maximus on Twitter. It's the, the link is right there. It's easy to do. Edward Vincent, does the Wagme NFT have a name to it? Yes. Uh, let me look on my wallet right now. Uh, let me see what it is. I got to go into this MetaMask. I will tell you what it is. Bear with me one second. I'm putting in my password. You guys can't know that for sure. All right. Clicking on NFT. Uh, it is a Wagme Game Warrior. Wag me game warrior. I will show you a picture of it. Can you got, can you see that Max? Yep. I can see it. So all you have to do is follow Max on Twitter, DPG Maximus and follow myself on Twitter, which is crypto talk now 21. It's up right here. And then just message me the word giveaway every day until August 15th. When the winner is announced more chances, uh, you get more chances by typing in the word giveaway, but you send it directly to Twitter. I All will right. state this much. I mean, everybody, you know, has, you know, a, a good chance of winning. It's not rigged or anything like that, but just, this is just joking. Okay. So yeah. Tim Shea, if you win it, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I, I just, I, I'll be speechless, man. He's the one that wins. Always, because you've been wins winning NFTs games. like crazy. So if you win that, then like you need to go buy a, a Powerball ticket or mega millions or your local state lotto or whatever. Right, Larry? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he's lucky. Someone, someone the other day said if they won the uh, Wagme NFT that they were going to donate one of their NFTs to the community. That was pretty cool to kind of like pay it forward that way. All right, uh, hump not dump. We'll short Matic again at sixty five cents to play it safe. Not sure about fifty eight cents uh, or under. You're going to keep shorting Matic. Wow, uh, it's aggressive. Um, I mean, they must know something. Crypto Crackhead. I tried to message you on Twitter today. But it didn't work. Okay. Uh, I'll have to figure that out. You know what? Just message Max 
or and uh, my settings are probably messed up and then message max or dpg yeah, that's fine i mean if you guys want to message me i mean i i don't i don't mind i keep up with it you don't believe that i keep up with it samuel don't call him captain hook is larry would say samuel hook can vouch for me every time he sends me messages i always respond back and say okay thanks i'll get to larry or just say okay thanks yeah i'll get it to him so it's fine yeah it might be that i have to follow you so just message him first and then i'll get your twitter handle and then i'll follow you and then you can message me Selmo Fudd, too much. Uh, Simon Ravenscroft, every time, by the way, I think Simon Ravenscroft, it's like whatever it is, it's, he's in the UK. I think. Every time I send the word giveaway, I feel like I'm spamming you. No, it's fine. That's what we want to hear. I'm expecting it. Uh, I don't always Wait. respond because every day there's, I probably get about 30 Twitter messages, and some of them, a good number of them say giveaway, but I just, you know, I'm not very good at keeping up with Twitter unless it's something really. Uh, like if it's, if you say giveaway and you don't hear from me, that's okay. Because just realize I'm not going to respond to everybody saying giveaway. I'd be writing messages all day, but, uh, I am getting him. It's fine. Just keep doing that. What were you saying, Max? Oh man, I don't know. I, I had a really long day. I'm sorry. That's all right. I, I just spaced that one. It's all right. No problem. Crypto crackhead, not one day guys, week to a month. Uh, hump, not dump crypto crackhead. Did you study the charts? I put up on Crypto Talk Now Facebook page. It, it shows clearly step by step we are going to $9,441.11. No, didn't right. look at it. I mean, I'm not dismissing it, but just think of how much stuff we look into. It's like, you know, I mean, there's only so much time in a day. Um, but, you know, if it's beneficial and you feel like you outlined it pretty well, then I tip my hat off to you, and especially if you are, you know, put out information that is uh, benefiting our community. We appreciate that. But no, I didn't get a chance to look at that. Selma Fudd says Tim Shea. Uh, crypto, no, sorry. Coinview Cap. Keith says, oh, yes. Uh, Coinview Cap. Rates are going to 100 to 125. Tomorrow? Is that what you're saying? You think so? To 125. Get ready. That's good. I'm, I'm hoping that everything crashes and burns so that we can get more of the good stuff. All right. We'll see. That would be a real shock. Uh, Iron Lux Trader. Hello, fam, Tim, Selmo, Hump, Blue, Boomers, <laughs> Simon, LeGrand Commission, Edward, Crypto, Crackhead, and, of course, Brian. Thank you. Iron Lux Trader and CBC Keith. He, he's trying to say hello to Thanks, everybody. Iron it's Lux. hard to do. So many people here. Brian Dowie says, Iron Lux Trader. Uh, hump, not dump. Larry and Max tell the world what I've been saying. 75 in June, 75 in July, the Fed summer vacation in august okay 50 basis move in september all right we'll come back to this well, well so far uh you're one for three you said 75 for Ju for june no 75 in june okay well you're right about that that's the only thing that's come true so far we'll have to wait and see what happens tomorrow for your 75 prediction in july and then let's see if the 50 basis points happens in september all right uh, Coinview Cap says a little iron. Uh, if you have any news that you want to share, Max, just holler at me. I'm going to go through these comments while you're getting ready. Yeah, Hump I got some. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. All right. Hump not dump. September zero. I'm not going to raise it. All right. Crypt, uh, Coinview Cap. Uh, he's a royal cat. Coin. I'm sorry. Cool Cat Crypto is a royal cat. Uh, let's see. Coinview Cap. Hump. There's no meeting in August. Hump not dump September 75 and on 50% and at least one. All right. Well, it's a lot of stuff. All right. So what's Max got to say? All right. Well, here's the thing. At the beginning of the show, Larry brought up the whole thing about Uniswap. So as you guys can see right here, for instance, it's just some quick news snippets, but it's worthy to point it out. So for instance, with Uniswap, it says they gain a new vice president of product, but Remember when Larry mentioned the whole thing with Coinbase? Well, check this out. The new hire, Will Rubin, joins Uniswap Labs following his most recent stint at Coinbase. There he worked on a variety of Coinbase Web3 and social products. Prior to Coinbase, Will worked at Meta as leader of Instagram's feed and relevance organization. Now, some people might be wondering, well, you know, okay, so what? Well, the way I look at it is, you want to see some kind of you know stability when it comes to uniswap when you hear about them you know having these type of people hired on board well if anything um 
you want to recognize it and it, it, it creates a little bit more of like buyer confidence and, and so on. Um, this other thing, for instance, right, we're always hearing a lot about USDT. Uh, a lot of people aren't fans of USDT and I get it and so on. Um, but check this out. TezDev Paris is underway. Uh, USDT is live on Tezos and Dogami is releasing NFTs with the Gap Apparel brand soon. If you're familiar with Gap, I mean, they're really popular back in the 80s, early 90s, right? Get it. But anyway, Tezdev Paris runs from July 21st through the 23rd. You can watch a lot of it virtually speaking as well. And it brings together developers and creators to share ideas, knowledge to help the Tezos ecosystem continue to flourish. The USDT stablecoin launches on Tezos was announced a while back, but is now live and tradable on Bitfinex. Um, Dogami's collaborative NFTs with Gap will enable owners of Dogami's Petaverse, if you can imagine that, uh, avatars to customize their in-game characters with virtual Gap apparel. The NFT launch is on July 27th, which is, happens to be today. So I thought I'd go ahead and point that out because I know some of you guys um, may be into Tezos or near and the likes of that. So I'm going to kick it back to you. There's a little bit more news, but I'll save it for a little bit later. Yeah, well, we'll go back. We'll get more news from you in a few moments. Let's go through the rest of this. Thanks for the update there. Sure. Uh, let's go through the rest of this fast. Uh, CoinView Cap, let's catch up with the comments. In September, the next meeting happens. Hump not dump. Uh, CoinView Cap, big facts. No meeting in August. So pump time and September, it's regulation time. I'm back. Uh, hey, Max, what are your thoughts on Algo's price in the next bull run? I think it's going to be nice, especially when it comes to, to November, right? So, you know, basically we know a few key things when it comes to algo. Um, for one, one thing I love, right? If you've been following what I've been talking about with Quant, I did a recent video in regards to um, how Quant basically had a, uh, a Zoom call meeting, if you will. Three top key players, Visa, Bank of Canada, and get this, a an actual MIT professor. Now, what does that have to do with Algorand, right? Well, Algorand, as we know, is a blockchain designed by an MIT professor. And get this, like it says on the site, Turing winning, I mean, sorry, Turing award winning uh, cryptographer, which is Silvio Macaulay. My point is this, if you have the likes of an Algorand, who is really all about, for instance, um, you know, creating some of these uh, payment solutions, if you will, kind of like, you know, other ISO 222s and whatnot. When you hear the likes of MIT professors being on board to put some focus on the ISOs and, and what they bring to the table, especially when, uh, whether the switch is getting turned on in Europe in November or moving forward all the way out to 2025 when US finally comes on board. The point is, in regards to Algo, to answer your question, yes. I feel bullish on it because of the things mainly coming up in November. So hopefully it gives you an idea of what I think about it. But Algorand sitting at 30 cents as we speak. These are absolutely great buying opportunities. Uh, my friend Foxman, he's been holding Algorand for a while. He always would talk about in the past. But yeah, I, I do feel bullish on Algorand. All right, cool. Thank you for the update, uh, the Algo information. Uh, let's get back into the chat. Uh Coin for cap pump a hundred percent is correct. That's what they're saying. All right. So this is, I guess this is going to be the curveball that we're going to get tomorrow from the fed. Maybe that's what, if you guys are right, coin for cap official uh, is laughing. Uh, Ami Bengali be hopefully I'm saying your name properly. So what's the deal with the fed? Uh, the fed, the old man's going to get shot out of the cave. He's going to say 75, 150, 25 sold, whatever it is, you're going to know. And then turn off the TV, please. Do yourself a favor. Cool cat crypto. They're going to want to check and see if I have a wallet hidden in my ass. Next thing you know, my arse. I don't know how they say it. Uh, how did the British say it? Uh, next thing you know. Do you know how to say how the How did the British say that word? I think that's what he's trying to say. I have a whole wallet stolen in my arse. Yeah, like that. We're going to roll it now. In my arse, you know? <laughs> That's the way he wrote it, I think. It's well, yeah, basically, you know. And then when you read the comment, you literally say, Cool Cat Crypto. They're going to want me to check and see if I have a wallet hidden in my ass. Next thing you know. Back to you, David. Stable coins 
unstable, whatever. Stable coins, centralized exchanges, and then they're going to say, oh, by the way, uh, centralized exchange, uh, could you also tell us where all these, where, where everyone's putting their money to? Uh, we need to track those wallets. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, this is, it'll be out of hand Pardon. by that point. Yeah, yeah, it's a slippery slope. Crypto crackhead, please put the chart on the screen. I'm not sure. Oh, are you talking about the Bitcoin chart? All right, so that might be what he's saying. Uh, it's a clue. Uh, BTC for you and me. Bitcoin. Uh, currently, let's see. Uh, our friends at KuCoin are showing what? 21,208. It's where we're at currently on the one-minute chart. It, it's moving. It's up 0.63% in the last 24 hours. So let's see what happens. There you go. Uh, Uncle Bam Bam, welcome back with the Kubota tractor. I'm back. Crypto talk now. BitBoy Crypto says it's dropping below. He does? That's what he said? Wow. Yeah, you know, he pointed something out about that. Um, you know, if you can, go back to those charts for a second. Mm -hmm. Now, he had it at the one minute. This is worthy to point out. Remember a long time? Well, not a long time ago, but remember, I don't know, a few weeks ago or a month ago, somebody came on here and wanted to point out the whole thing with, um, uh, they, they, you know, they look like pots or pies. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how that... You know, it's significant. Like mm -hmm. Well, I believe it was Bib Boy Crypto or somebody in that caliber of, you know, higher echelon influencer or whatever, pointed out that, you know what? I know who it was. It was Max Maher. Oh. Yeah. yeah so you see this right here? Mm -hmm. How it looks like those pies forming, if you will. Now, that, again, mm -hmm. that's just the only the one minute. If we could, let's have you actually go for like, um, let's do the whole day. All right. Is it consistent with that? Let's see. This is the um, daily right now. Okay. Well, it looks a little bit, of course, different on it. But, I mean, if we saw that, like, daily, you know, I, I guess it's supposed to be, a, like, a bad thing where um, it, basically how we know this is this. Based on, like, you know, the last monumental, not to this degree, but, like, the last big tr uh, crash that happened a few years ago was reflective upon that when it comes to these, I don't know, quote unquote, you know, pots, pies, where you want to refer to it. I guess it's supposed to be like a bad thing, right? If it yeah. consistently happens, Max Maher pointed that out. I have to go back into that particular video and listen to it again. But um, it's very interesting to say the least, because it's like, it's kind of scary. Yeah. When, when yeah. you hear about that. And so when you guys at the beginning of the show mentioned the whole thing of like, I guess you could say 7,500 for Bitcoin and all that. And it's like, wow, you know, if that trend continued to happen, and then of course combined with, as you would say, the old man coming out of the cave, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to preach doom and gloom because it's not my style. I mean, you know, we differ on that, and that's okay. Um, but it, it does at least allow me to take pause and reflect. Like, okay, I need to hold off on a bit, just for a bit, and see how things go with the market before I just go all in on a lot of these things right now. And that's basically what I'm doing. Like, you know, I always talk about XRP and quant and stuff like that, but I want to see what's going to go on, especially within the next couple of days and so on. And then go from there. All right. Fair enough. All right. Thanks. Uh, LeGron commission next giveaway should be some XRP or Luna classic. Oh, that would be a good one. That's interesting. All right. Maybe we will do that. Uh, I have to buy it first. I don't even have any. XRP, but yeah, uh, we'll see. Um, crypto fusion, what's up with CBC Shibnobi merge? I'm into fusions, but I don't know about this one. All right, we went over that earlier, we were a little behind the chat. Let's catch up. 160 beautiful. Are they, well, I don't know. Are you guys all beautiful? Well, maybe you are. Uh, you're beautiful inside and out. Thank you, but please do one thing before you check out. Oh, there's another Ryan from Selmo. Hit the like button. Thank you. All right, so. Now, hump not dump. I short ten thousand on Bitcoin. I don't know. I'm not sure what he's talking about, but maybe these are his price targets. Overcome bottom price is in. Oh, that's a cool looking avatar. Overcome. Bottom, can't really see it. All right. Uh, somebody new. Thank you. Overcome. Thank you. You must overcome your obstacles in life. Thank you for being here. He says bottom Perfect. priced in. The bottom is priced in already. Okay. Uh, Boomer F and Sooner, there's 176 people. Can we please get 100 likes and that way we'll get over 200 people? Uh, Boomer F and Sooner, hi, Keith. Uh, Keith is saying hello to Boomer, Uncle Bam Bam, uh, Selma Fudd saying hello to him. 
Hump that dump. Let's get 100 likes, and I'll show you guys on the Crypto Talk Now Facebook page how to execute a successful short on the market. Okay. Crypto crackhead, short or long at 20x. That means if I put in 10K and whatever coin moves up, down 1%, that's two thousand dollars in profit. Okay, well he's yeah he's crypto crackhead is a day trader, so that's what he's trying to do. Uh, he's explaining that cool cat crypto. I hope they don't check because that's where I keep it. Uh, okay, that's oh well he's a cat. He doesn't have uh, well you don't have any pockets, so unless you're walking around, he, he the cats don't wear clothes, so that's where he keeps everything uh, in his uh, uh, special spot. Okay, thank you, Boomer F and Sooner. I have a billion Shinja. I need CVC, need a crypto.com listing. Uh, Edward Vincent, Larry, you just mentioned what I always tell people at as the worst case scenario. An EMP happens and all your money is tied up online. What the heck are you going to do? Now uh, I have it tied up online, right, Larry? <laughs> may, well, make sure you have other assets. Um, precious, you know, perhaps, I don't know, gold and silver a little bit. You know, make sure you have food and water. That would be my best advice. Something like that. Well, happens. I'm just, I'm saying, I mean, that that's where, you know, the whole concept of having a hard wallet, you know, is very beneficial. You know, it's like, um, you know, like for instance, a lot of people who have XRP don't have it on, uh, you know, if they did get it from exchange, for instance, KuCoin, a lot of times people will move it from there and they'll just keep it like on a, on a hard wallet. Right. So mm -hmm. that's the way I would look at it if it was a EMP type of scenario. But again, if you already had it there and then I guess you could say you're, you're screwed, but. Yeah, that's a good question. I just lost my spot. Okay. Cool Cat Crypto. Most of the BSB mining places are here in Texas. Uncle Bam Bam, Lux, and FUD, what's up? Uh, Iron Lux Trader, Cool Cat. Iron Lux Trader, Uncle Bam, welcome. Cool Cat Crypto, uh, he's got uh, a thumbs up for Iron. Uh, Edward Vincent, Halt the Industrial Revolution. Crypto Fusion, hit the like, y'all. Uh, Selmo Fud, an EMP attack will be happening for sure. Count on that. <laughs> it actually I hope not, but they've been talking about that for over 20 years. Food and water are your best friends if that happens. Uh, hump, because the uh, gold and silver won't, won't, you won't be able to eat it. Hump, not dump. Uh, let's see. La Grande Commission, we have an article on ETC on how they're going to blow up after all the miner from. Ethereum go to Ethereum, but right, Ethereum Classic. Expect a big pump for Ethereum Classic on Ethereum two. All right. I really, well, yeah, I, I outlined that the the first time I heard about it. Like, and I, I point that out in the video. Um, that yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. Currently, we have 150 people here. Uh, please, ladies and gentlemen, smash the like. These fellows work so hard to come on day in and day out. That's correct. You're right. We do work hard. We uh, this we have two streams a day on this network. 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Can you imagine that? Two a day, seven days a week. So we're always on. Uh, there you go. All right. Hump, not dump. I shorted Matic yesterday. LeGrand Commission, not all the time. Hump, not dump. I uh, Let's see. LeGrand Commission, check out Crypto Talk Now Facebook page for full ETC story and expected pump. Rafael Santos Santos. Hey, Sir Max and Sir Larry. Good day to all of us watching the best show ever. Earthquake happens. Wait a minute. Earthquake happens today here in the Philippines. Stay safe always. Well, we hope that you are safe because we know you're watching from the Philippines. We hope that you and your family, friends, and the whole entire country is safe over there if there's an earthquake going on. Yeah, absolutely, Rafael. Good to see you and hopefully you guys are all safe, and especially that tree that you shared on Twitter. Hopefully that tree of your family is doing good too. That's a nice you know, story that you told me about. Edward Vincent, black armor and blue chest plates. Cool, cool. LeBron Commission at Hump Not Dump. I know. Hump Not Dump. Ethereum 2 comes out without a glitch. The ETH exodus of miners to ETC will begin. Okay. Tim Shea, I put in the work. Too much. Uh, Tim is laughing. Uh, Tim Shea, you see these people win twice as much as me. I am very thankful, though, if I win the wag me. I will donate Good. another to give one away. All right. Yeah. This is, I want to point something out. Even if ETH 2.0 or whatever you want to call it, it's not officially called that. Let's face it. I'm not going to get into technicalities about it. But let's face, let's face it. Even if the new Ethereum comes out without a glitch, okay? So 
you know, you mentioned the whole thing about them all going over to ETC. Uh, they're going to go over the ETC anyway, because again, like I pointed out, like it's literally just that their ASIC miner is designed for the ERC 20 uh, contract. So either way, they want to have their profits be maximized on what the miner that they invested in, you know, and a lot of these guys have a lot more than one miner. So yeah, they can still make some money, but if you're having your profits slash, you know, 80 to 90% and you can go to a different platform as in, you know, ETC, right. And your ratio is going from 70 to 90% loss on profits to only losing maybe 30%. Yeah. They're going to do it. You better believe it. And it's going to have a huge impact on the price of ETC. That's why I keep talking about ETC now and then. Yeah. I talk about everything else like XRP and especially quant, right? And I'm going to continue to talk about those, but don't turn a blind eye to at least the opportunity of Ethereum Classic, whether you have done a lot of research on it or not. Recognize the opportunity that is going to be present, especially here soon. Um, and if they launch late September, you know, Vitalik and, and all them, that still comes out, then especially be out on the lookout for what's going to happen with the miners because it's going to play a huge factor in ETC's price moving forward. All right. Thank you for that Ethereum classic and Ethereum update. Uh, it's, it's interesting dynamic for sure. We'll all be watching it. Uh, Edward Vincent at say, uh, Simon Ravenscroft, me too, Spam. No, when you guys send me giveaway, when you type in the word giveaway, that's what we want uh, to my Twitter direct message. That's that's not spam. That's actually what we're requesting. So don't worry about that. Hump not dump. If Ethereum 2 fails, the only winner again is ETC because the miners know ETH2 sooner or later will be successful uh, and they will be without a job, not with ETC. Cool Cat Crypto, Uniswap fears XSP and they should. La Grande Commission, Swiss travel company Kunoni, business travel founded in 1906, has concluded a partnership with crypto payment service BitPay to accept Shiba Shiba Inu, Doji Doge Dogecoin, and Bitty Bit Bitcoin and Ethereum. I don't know. I don't have a nickname for Ethereum. Ethereum. All right. Thank you. One more thing I want to point out just real quick, Larry, in regards to this whole thing about Ethereum and the miners and so on. I will not talk much about stocks here because there's something I don't do. Um, but I will state this one thing. And I think for the most part, a lot of you guys will agree with me. And if you don't, that's fine too. You can agree to disagree. The whole thing with 2.0 coming out and so on. So yeah, a lot of the miners are going to go to ETC and rightfully so, the Ethereum Classic and whatnot. They want their ASIC miner to still have you know, utility. They want to be able to get some money. However, how about this? Think about this and put some focus on this. So recognize that there's going to be a tremendous amount of demand to have a particular miner for 2.0. You know, you know, I shouldn't say a miner for 2.0, but... Um, not just Ethereum 2.0, but anything in which, for instance, there's not proof of stake, but like future proof of works, if you will, there will be a lot of demand for new type of graphic cars that will keep up with those proof of works. So this whole shift of proof of stake, like for instance, what Ethereum's doing is fine, but recognize there's still going to be projects. They're going to still do the proof of work. And those miners are going to have to have things to keep up with that. So if anything, focus on what? Focus on the likes of like NVIDIA because they produce graphics cards. Uh, for instance, um, I always want to call them ATI because I'm old school, but AMD, right? For me personally, if I was going to get into a stock, this is not financial advice. This is just me personally. I would be focusing on the demand for new proof of work demand if you will if you get what i'm saying so it's like whether it comes to nvidia you know i keep calling it ati because again it's my pc gaming background technically they're amd i look to see especially nvidia move up dramatically in price within i would say no more than six months to a year because of that demand so i won't harp on anymore i just want to point some of those things out that's all all right, thanks. XXI Gaming Gammon, one full dump, baby. Let's see the blood in the market. Uh, we need a bloodbath is what he's saying. Max, what's good, my man? Larry, what is good? All right, 
Uh, let's see. We all are looking. Some of us are looking for that. Cool cat crypto. Algo is mopped up. Uh, hump, not dump. 75 basis points in June. 75 in July. 50 base move in August with the feds are off. 75 in September, 50 November, and maybe 25 to pump and fuck. Well, if there's that many increases in interest rates, you're not going to see a pump, in my opinion. If, if they're going to increase that much, that hasn't been, that hasn't happened before. Uh, I'm back. Cool cat crypto. Is that good or bad? I mean, in that short period of time. Uh, okay. Uh, cool cat crypto. I'm back. Very good. Uh, he's smiling, laughing. Uh, hump not dumb. Thank you, Coin View, for agree uh, with my prediction. I've been calling it. All right. Cool cat crypto. Algo is one of the chosen ones. Yep, they're in. They're they're good with the government for sure. Let's put it that way. Tim Shea, bullish. Crypto crackhead, do the daily trade. Simon Ravenscroft, can you bring up Luna T? Is it on coin? Yeah, it's on coin market yeah. cap, right? The Luna Tech. Yeah, I did a, yeah, I did a recorded video a couple days ago about that. I'll, I'll yeah, I'll bring it up really fast. Let's see. Um, I thought it would bring. Oh, I lost my mouse cursor. Hold on, it's it's stuck here. All right, so and oh, by the way, guys, there's something else I wanted to point out, and of course, uh, Michael Cornwell originally pointed it out as well. So kudos to him, and that is this. You know, a lot of times people hear about like you know, oh man, 150 million was burned with uh, you know, this new Luna Classic burn and reward token, aka Luna T. And so when you go here, um, you're like, oh man, you know, the the volume was up. Um, you know, the price, for instance, was well up over 100. percent It's down right now, right? Because obviously people sold they dumped their positions because they made money i mean that's that's to be expected but the point yeah. is you'll go to see all this massive amounts of volume and the price going you know semi-parabolic and then you're like all right cool now let's go to the luna classic listing l-u-n-c and see what's going on with that and then you're like well what's, what the heck um that um you know that supply it didn't get burned. What's going on? Well, you got to keep in mind, it, it's not going to happen instantly. It, it's going to take, like I mentioned in the recorded video, refer back to that if you haven't seen it. It's going to take about seven and a half to roughly eight days to basically have that reflect upon, right, to the blockchain. So don't think it's, it's something in which, man, massive burns, 150 million. You know, the, the needle won't thread, if you will, for at least seven to eight days. So I just wanted to point that out. Did you get in that? You didn't get in that one, did you, Max? The pre-sale? No, I wanted to see more of the whole thing with the whole contract. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I didn't. I'm, I'm glad that. if you could bring that back up, actually, on uh, Coin Market Cap. See that? See a little disclaimer at the top, guys. Yeah. Now, if you've been, if you watch my uh, Luna T video where it says token sniffer, why do I do that? Well, why I do that is literally I pointed this out literally before Coin Market Cap pointed yeah. out. Smart contract of the falling asset can be modified by the contract creator. Example, disabling, selling, change of fees, mining tokens, or transfer tokens. Please exercise caution to say the least. Do your own research, right? And knowing that, listen, it, it's something that has to do with you know, Luna. They, they got to protect themselves too when it comes to coin market cap, right? Owned by Binance. So it's just that, guys. I mean, my thing is this if we have anybody here that's verified that they made money, like let's, you know, somebody who sold. I like to hear from somebody like that. Like that would be very beneficial because that would be a member of our community or just, you know, a, a, a regular or whatever who, who has verified, you know, maybe with a screenshot, you don't even have to take, you know, you know, a uh, picture, you can blur out private area. All right. But just give us something. Let us know, like, you know, like, you know what? We're fine. That's, that's what I want to see. I haven't yet to see, I guess you could say like anybody's posted like solid proof saying, no, nah, that's not that big of a deal. Um, we're fine. Like I was able to take profits. Here's my proof, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Until I see something like that or hear from the devs, right. I'm not going to jump into it just yet. You know, do we cover the news on it? Well, absolutely. We're a news network. Of course, we're going to cover the news on something like that. So for me personally, yeah. no, I have not gotten into it for those specific reasons. And why is that? Because I've been burned in the past. Like I mentioned, for instance, one at the beginning of the year, what's it called? Um, Ninja Floki on, on my channel, Ma Maximus Crypto. This was before, of course, joined up in here. You know, I pointed out, out that Ninja Floki was 100% scam and I had a 100% proof, screenshots, video, you name it. And with that was, like I mentioned before, in my uh, trust wallet, it says I'm up like 
8,800 bucks. And I'm like, oh man, this is amazing off of like a $300 investment. Oh man, this is the greatest thing to slice bread, right? Wrong. Because I'm getting hit with a, you know, the, the sell fees, right? Went from 20% to um, like 95%. So when I went to go sell, I only made a profit of like 160 bucks. You know what I mean? Yeah. I will be re reminding myself of those type of scenarios. And I also want to remind you guys about these things could happen. Now, is that what's going on with Luna Tix token, Luna T? No, I'm not saying that. It could be like the greatest thing since sliced bread. But my thing is we need a little bit more transparency. Larry's pointing out like, you know, I guess some of the devs. I don't know if they're the real devs. I'm, I'm not saying they are or they're not. But he pointed out like, you know, they can contact him. We can go over this. Maybe they can come on the show. But these type of things should be addressed. And in this day and age, especially when the lunatics token is looked upon as being, let's face it, a meme token, right? Then we basically expect some form of, of docs on that, right? In this day and age. And I don't see that happening as well. This is not me flooding it. Don't get it twisted. It's just... Me stating we want a little bit more transparency, to say the least, right, Larry? I mean, am I too far off on this? Yeah, no. I was just gonna say, I'm just. It's it's amazing that we live in a day and age when five million dollars can go into this with this website right here. Uh, this is five. This is a five million dollar website is what we're looking at right now, and these guys, uh, you know, won't contact us. So you know, I'm not gonna give them any more time, and I'm not gonna invest in it until I talk to someone directly. But they don't want to do that, so. But yeah, thank you for that. Uh, hopefully you guys are making money with it. Um, appreciate, you know, like like Max says, we have to be able to report the news because this is, it is the news. It's interesting right. that they would do that. So and especially when, it, yeah, and especially when it comes to marketing, I, I did another video today. If you guys haven't seen that, there's a billboard literally uh, outside of SpaceX. It's a digital billboard. So, I mean, they are doing good things as far as getting recognition. But again, the transparency, they need to address why some of those things are set up the way they're set up. All right. Thanks for that. I'm just trying to find my spot here. I lost. I'll go uh, bullish. Let's see. Uh, where are we here? Crypto crackhead with diagrams. Boomer F and Sooner. What happened to your opinion on Marlin, a.k.a. Pond? I'm not sure what that is there. Uh, Boomer F and Sooner. Yo, Keith, I can feel a crypto.com listing doing what I can, bro. I'm back. Cool cat. Glad to hear that excuse me laugh out loud i've been loading up on algo xrp and link hump not dump that's good guys 40 more likes and i'll drop the jewels on the technical analysis don't drop your jewels all right tim shea that's bullish boomer uh cool cat crypto you guys look into different bees with the various forms of bitcoin have uh, and then why what forms of bitcoin have and why they are that way I'm not sure. Uh, cool cat crypto. I'm back. Three good ones you have there. Uh, hump not dump. I dropped a thousand dollars on shorting Bitcoin at 18k. All right. Oh, there's a donation coming in. Hold on, Tim Shea. Please hit the like. Yeah, thank you. Uh, the donation I think is here somewhere. I'm trying to find. All right, there it is. Too uh, much. Thank, thank you too much uh, for the five dollar donation. He says smash the like button. That's a good idea. We'd appreciate it if you did that. Uh, guys, it, guys, it's not too much. For you to hit that, you know, smash that like button. Yeah. Anyway, I had to. All right. Thank you too much. Appreciate it, man. Let's see. Um, last one I read was Tim Shea. That's bullish boomer. Was it that one? Drop a thousand. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please hit the like button. He says again, boomer up and sooner. I don't even know what shorting means. Uh, you're just betting for something to go the other way. So you can make money by shorting something. So if something's got a hundred bucks. You uh, put in an order to sell, and uh, you're betting on it, basically betting on it to go down. And that's how you make money. That's just an oversimplification, but it's basically what it is. Iron Lux Trader, hump, that's bull. Uh, cool cat crypto, shorting means you're betting on something to go down in price. Oh, there you See, the cat's with us. Uh, Iron Lux Trader, boomer, he is basically predicting that Bitcoin is going to drop to 18K. That's his target. Uh, boomer, up and sooner. Oh, ah, okay. And where do I place that bet? Uh, you can do it. You at, do like uh, you know, KuCoin. There's you know, uh, other outlets. KuCoin is one that really stands out for me. Um, possibly, I imagine Binance.us or the regular Binance site. 
if you live outside the U.S. But places like, you know, like outlets like that, exchanges like that, you can do those type of things. Um, you can't do it on everything. So think about this. You know how wealthy we would be if there was some kind of an outlet where we can uh, uh, short like crap coins? Yeah. I'd be like a multimillionaire right now. Like I might be a billionaire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine a place yeah, like that? Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> there's just not enough. I think it's because there's just not enough liquidity and stuff. But um, Right, exactly. Yeah. Not enough liquidity yeah. to even take our profits, right? Yeah. It'd be like, exactly. we'd be just taking all the money from all of it. Boomer Epitooner. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, all right. So we talked about that. I'm back. Uh, cool Cat Crypto. Thanks. I also have Mana, Quant, and Theta, which I'm not so sure about keeping. Iron Lux Trader. Oh, short. keep that Quant, man. Keep that Quant. Theta's good, too. Short equals drop in price. Long equals increase in price. Yep. Boomer F and Sooner. Gotcha. All right. Iron Lux Trader, do not do it. Laugh out loud, Boomer. All right. Don't do it. I'm back. Boomer F and Sooner, if you don't know what shorting is, I'd say stay away from it until you try to learn more about it. Yes. You you don't want to get riggedy, riggedy wrecked. Uh, you don't want it. You can get severely wrecked, wrecked, wrecked. You've been hanging so, out with some with, with, the, with the rickety, rickety. Rickety, rickety wrecked. All right. Amu, um, do. Um, a moo, a moo, do you? Hi, Larry. It's Fed. What? Oh, is the Fed rate out now? Watching from Nigeria. No, it's going to be out tomorrow afternoon. That's what they're saying. We'll see. Uh, Venom Hemi. Uh, apparently, he has a uh, vehicle, a truck, maybe car with a Hemi engine. Uh, and he's a fan of Spider Man. Uh, Venom. Venom, yeah, or it's it Spider Man, right? Well, hold on, is that Carnage or Venom? I don't know. You want to know something weird? It's either one or the well, if it's black, it's it's Venom, yeah. Obviously, you, it says Venom in his name. My bad. So, you watch movies, right? You're into movies, superhero, so depend, yeah, depending on the genre and stuff, yeah. Uh, you're into like you know, the superheroes and Marvel and all that, you stuff. know. I used to be, I, I kind of got tired of it. Uh, I'm in the minority, I have not seen. Avengers, uh, what is it? Uh, you know, the last few ones. The last one I saw was uh, Age of Ultra. I never saw all the rest of them. I'm, I, it's on my list. But anyway, go ahead. Sorry. Well, no, I'm just saying I'm not really into those movies. But I'm just, did you ever notice that Spider-Man is kind of like a weakling? If he's supposed to be like a superhero, he's kind of like the weakest link. You know, like the, the character, whether he, when he's a normal man or he turns into Spider-Man, it just doesn't seem like much of a good profile for a superhero. But In reality, he's more like... He's called Spider Man, but I mean, it starts out he's more like Spider Boy to a sense. I mean, yeah, he's like I don't know. I I always liked the original story uh, or the original Spider Man's with uh was it Tobey Maguire? Because to me, of the whole bunch, he was more of the uh, comic historically accurate version. You know, the the real nerd, right? He's supposed to be a nerdy kid, and uh, Tobey Maguire did a good job of playing that role, in my opinion. Anyway, I'm not sure what he's asking here, but he's talking not talking about the hockey player. Uh, guys, can you please look into Messier or no Messier? Messier 87. Messier, I never heard of it. Like, I mean, we can look into it. I never heard of it. Boomer, if it's sooner, I won't. Fortune, oh, wait, let's get this stuff off the screen here. Sorry, I thought this was the Bitcoin thing. Let me get into the Bitcoin thing. Uh, the numbers were going up when we had the Bitcoin chart on, so we'll put it back. All right, there, everyone likes to look at the peaceful chart. 21,115 is your price for Bitcoin. Read it and weep or be happy or something. Cool Cat Crypto, I'm back. Uh, Quant and Manic are both good. Theta, eh, I would trade that if I were you. Too much. But don't what, take a loss. What's your take on Shiba Doge? Um, I have a small bag. I think, you know, right now I'm not looking to buy any more of it. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad, but that's my take. I'm not looking to buy any more of it either. Um, I have a big bag of it. Uh, I have close to two quintillion um and my attitude is uh of all the like you know uh the low market mean coin so if you will mean tokens um that one i think i'm still up on i think i'm still profiting on it uh which is shocking because a lot of them are i'm down but um long term I, i'm still believing in shiba doge i'm not gonna buy another bag of it um maybe that's not what you want to hear but you know again like we point out I just I'm not looking to you know to put any of my money into any meme token and projects, period. Uh a person could say, well, technically Luna Classic is 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 a meme token. Okay. Uh, the only ones I will put more into as far as meme focus are like the, the standout ones, Shiba Inu, for instance. I 
I have a uh, 1 billion, 13 million of that. I was staking for many, many months, of course, until crypto.com got rid of the staking, which sucks, but that's the way it is. I mean, I guess they had to do something. I mean, we live in a day and age where everything's just kind of been going to crap, but it's going to rebound. It's just trying to find out when that's going to be. All right, I'm going to rapid fire, read these comments really fast because we're way behind. Hump not dump, prayers out to the Philippines. Boomer F and Sooner, like Quant, Quant is good. Cool Cat Crypto, Boomer shorting is for seasoned traders. Be careful, you can get wrecked. Uh, I'm back, Cool Cat Crypto, I have $500 of Theta. If I did, it would be for HBAR, AVAX, or ADA. Tim Shea, waiting on Shiba Doge, it will pump eventually. Uh, cool Cat Crypto, I'm back, HBAR, AVAX. Ada are all solid. Hump not dump. No sweat. Uh, if we can't pull the 9K post, I'll understand. Thanks, guys. I think I pulled it the other day. Uh, too much. Tim, you are holding a lot of Shiba Doge. Iron Lux Trader, I'm back. Good to see you, brother. Uh, the Jin, uh, to all the Philippines, wisdom, love, and compassion to all Cool Cat Crypto. Yeah, Avalanche absolutely. is part of the new system. Will be big. Tim Shea. Not a lot, more of a moon bag. All right, hump not dump. Trying to have a thousand Matic by Friday. Okay, this is too much. Uh, Venom Hemi, guys, can you please look into Messier M87? It's like, but you're going to have to drop more information. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Um, hump not dump, 500 Polygon on deck. Or you can have the devs contact us if it's some sort of a low cap project. Uh, hump not dump, 500 Polygon on deck. What's up? I'm back. Cool cat crypto, really? I didn't know that. I'm back. So is POW better than POS, POW? So is uh, proof of work better oh, than proof, of, proof state? of state? Okay, yeah. It depends. Um, it, ju it literally just depends. I mean, if you're a miner, right, proof of work is where, you, you know, it's just that. You know, you're literally using a mining rig to do the work. So if you're the average retail investor, well, then proof of stake is a lot more appealing. Uh, and there's many reasons for that. And that would just take too long to get into all those reasons. But you do a little bit more of your own research to answer that. But that's the quick gist. All right. Uh, cool Cat, I'm back. Yes, uh, Avalanche will bridge Ethereum to Corda and Flare. Hump not dump. I got 500 Matic for $10 each. What? I got 500 Matic for $10 each? $10 each, $10 each. People in the 34th uh, Times Square looking at me. All right. Oh, All right. Geez. Iron Lux Trader. I mine Ethereum and Monero. I also get uh, set the rig to mine other algorithms, Ravencoin, Zosh, Octopus, whatever is more profitable. Okay, let me see. In yeah, and a lot of, uh, you know, of these current miners with the current Ethereum are going to be doing uh, a lot of the Ravencoin, and that is very appealing. I'm glad you pointed that out. Anyway. Cool cap. Iron, what wallet you use for Monero? LeGrand Commission, that's why I hold Grayscale um, Ethereum. Wait, Grayscale E stock, if you didn't exist. All right. Iron Lux Trader POW, proof of work is mining versus proof of stake. It's held in a pool by validators, kind of like staking. Iron yep. Lux Trader, I get paid in Bitcoin for mining cool cat crypto. All right. Uh, I'm back. Uh, Iron Lux Trader, what are some top proof of work cryptos? Um, oh, here's somebody new. Uh, Donovan Morrison, thank you so much for being here. It looks like a, um, is it an acorn? No, I can't, I can't see what the avatar is. I forex my investment. Oh, good for you. Cool cat crypto thumbs up crypto crackhead in the two days that Luna classic crashed, then rose again. I took $400 and turned it into 30 K. Wow. Best two day tradings of my life. That's good for you. You know what? You should come on the show sometime and show us some technical analysis and share your thoughts with the um, family here. Uh, Danovan Morrison, I entered at the presale. Okay. I'm not sure what presale it was. Um, uh, Luna T, probably. Oh, okay. Yeah. Too much. We have 10 likes and 125 people in the chat. Wow. Uh, uh, refresh, refresh. We got way more than that. Yeah, we got 70 right now. Iron Lux Trader, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Litecoin, Dogecoin, Ravencoin, Monero, to name a few. I'm back. Uh, okay. David Morrison, it went up to this, and I got in way before this. All right. Now Luna has plunged. It seems to be rebounding. Well, it's probably the pre-sellers that sold off. 
Uh, Donovan Morris, that's usually what happens with these low caps. I got my Luna Classic rewards too. Boomer F and Sooner saw that Luna Classic has $10 billion in bad debt that needs to be paid back. Hmm. Um, hump not dump. We got 65. Okay, we'll hit tech. Coins you want. All right. Mr. Max P, keep up the great content. Thank you. Matt. Thank you. Boswell. Somebody new. Thank you so much for being here, Mr. Matt Boswell. Hi from Australia. Bullish on Crow coin and Saitama V2. Well, I'm hesitant on both of those. I'm hesitant just because Crow is a centralized exchange. I'm just not doing anything anymore with centralized exchanges. I'll, I'll wait to see them survive the crash. Say, Tama V2, I'm just disenfranchised with because I haven't gotten my tokens. I got I some news it. on uh, Saitama V2. If When do you get a chance after you read the comments? All right. Yeah, go ahead and give um, – you know what we'll do? Let's give us the news, and then we'll I'll fly through the comments, and we'll go from there. Or, or if you want, do you have the news now? You want yeah, it's, it's just I, I'm not pulling anything out. I'm just giving you guys oh. just real quick. It's just it ain't gonna take long. So for instance, um, when it comes to Saitama V2, remember I mentioned the whole thing that uh, I still had a bunch of V1, and um, basically I got my airdrops from you know the V2 on Coinbase Wallet and also uh, of course Bitmart, and I was like, man, but I still have a whole bunch of V1. Well, it's just like this, guys. They did announce um, over at Saitama that. In regards to the V1, if you happen to have under 20 billion of the V1, you will need to put in some kind of a ticket, if you will, um, stating that you know you need assistance with it and whatnot. So you're going to have to basically, I guess you could say, put in that ticket, which is like manually getting it migrated to you. And it has to do basically with what? Uh, the fees that are involved. So for instance, I have, I think, about 16 billion left in my v1 since it's under that 20 million mark that that value is only worth about a dollar 68 cents right so it doesn't make sense to them and i get where they're coming from and this does make sense it doesn't make sense to them to do more fees to cover smaller portions to get you know get that to you but if you still believe in the project and it's going to go to the moon and all that stuff then it might be worth it for you because let's face it these east gas fees are very cheap but do it around like um, one or two o'clock in the morning, right? When it's even that much cheaper. I've heard reports of people getting it for um, three to four bucks on those fees. So if that's if that is you and you're still like, man, Saitama all the way, I still believe in it long term, and you haven't, you know, you you have less than twenty billion left, right, from the migration. Definitely take a look into it and wait until late night whatever time it is i would say late night uh pacific time so for me that would be like one or two in the morning that might be like 5 a.m for you so there's the quick gist of the news with the saitama v2 situation all right thanks yeah i got 40 billion but i still didn't get it but all right so i guess it was 20 billion was what they're saying but who would say tama who really knows uh iron lux traders thanks for the super chat too much appreciate it yep thank you uh hump not dump boomer uh sooner i did it on Gemini. It's easy. All right. The Grand Commission. Welcome, Matt. Uh, Boomer F and Sooner. I'm doing it. I only use crypto.com. Anyway, I'm back at Mr. At Matt Boswell. You should probably sell both. Say Thomas trash and Crow could be in trouble and, and pissing off a lot of people. Well, Crow was my was my favorite of all. But now with all the turbulence, the, the bad news in the macro economy, the turbulence in the crypto market, I'm just holding off. I've sold off a lot of Crow and bought some other stuff and moved into, you know, almost exclusively DeFi. I do have small amounts in crypto.com still. Um, it, but yeah, so I, 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 if it survives the crash, like I believe it will, then I think it's great. But say Tama is just, I'm done with it for now. I'm just. The, just yeah. Done. The whole thing about, you know, saying, saying sell your Saitama. I mean, why do you have to sell your Saitama right now? You waited all this time. You've been holding all this time. I'm not saying you specifically, Larry. Just saying the general population of people, you've been waiting all this time anyway. Why not at least wait for the bull market to come back? Because it does affect all coins. Yeah. If you can see yourself potentially getting, I don't know, uh, back into the green where you even break even. I mean, let's face it, for a lot of people, they just like to break even. Wait till then. You waited all this time. Why would you want to sell it right now at a loss? I, I don't get that. Uh, I'm back. Quant is an absolute untouchable. I was thinking about swapping Theta for either AVAX or HBAR. Uh, thoughts? Um, 
you know, I don't, I don't know anything about Theta. I know it's, it's, you know, got a large market cap. Um, AVAX, I'm kind of divided on, but H bar would be something that personally I would get, but that's just me. But just because it's an ISO, um, Boomer right. Abbott Sooner, untouchable. Coochie boy, welcome back. When shorting, generally you borrow the assets at a certain price from the broker. Then when the price drops below that price, you give them back uh, and profit the difference in the movement. Thank you for the further clarification. I'm back. Boomer up and sooner, yes, meaning I'm not selling it till my goal. Hump not dump. So let's say my 18K short didn't hit. I don't lose my money. All you lose is the action if Bitcoin goes up to 100K. Then comes down. Then you stock with a thousand. I'm not sure what he's saying. Boomer up and sooner. Gotcha. I agree. I'm back. All right. Hump not dump. Shorting uh, in a bearish winter is the best time because it's when we see more downward trends. Remember, the trend is your friend. Okay. Hump not dump. I'm shorting with my money, not a loan from the exchanges. Something I don't recommend. Hump not dump. Boomer, I was scared to short before because it's like riding a bike. Uh, Coochie boy, have you guys mentioned the fractional trading of BAYC NFTs that starts tomorrow on KuCoin? Do you know anything about that, Max? I don't know anything about that at all. I saw a brief notification on my phone that popped up, and that was about it. So I don't really know. Sorry about that. Hump not dump. 24 more like, and I'm dropping the deck. Well, all right. This is the last comment. Coochie boy, does KuCoin have a bigger market cap than no it'd be all right blue whale ricky i'm out peace yes that's a good uh thing well max i'll give you the last word then we're going to wrap up here because we've been going a long time thank you so much everyone's being here if you could hit the like button on the way out we've reached the end of the comments give you the last word yeah um all i can say is i mean just like some of the things we've been basically talking about you know like again you waited this long you're really going to get Become impatient and sell now, especially at these levels. Again, a lot of times you will see the market turn to a sea of green, not as of you know recently, but we saw that at the end of 2021. We saw literally a, a sea of crap coins do pretty decently. So if you can remember that, or if you were around then, a lot of you guys aren't, and I get it, but for the ones that were around then, just remember those times. And if anything, yeah, I get the whole thing with Saitama and so on, but at least wait till you can see something positive like that. Don't don't sell for a loss. I mean, you're going to get, yeah, you're getting wrecked, but you're going to get even more wrecked. As the saying goes, you don't really lose until you actually sell. And also, you're not going to win by <laughs> selling at these horrible times. So that's my key takeaway. Check out the recorded videos. We upload quite a few. I did about seven today, seven yesterday, earlier last week, like 20. We try to put out very informative information. I will keep pounding home quant. That's the one I'm very passionate about. And uh, I'm going to continue to do more and more content on quant, to say the least, because XRP and quant are my top two right now. XD XDC is my close third in regards to all that. So take a look into it. You'll be glad you did. All right, thank you, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and of course, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Max will be here. Uh, thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everyone. See you, baby. Sayonara.